Hello you beautiful people, welcome back to The Opulent. So today is the start of something new I'm doing. It's related to the Harry Styles boot series which I'm doing currently slash taking a break from until Harry wears some festive boots again. Um, so I didn't really want to say a last episode or anything like that because you know, Harry is really wild with his fashion choices. So I'm gonna keep the hope that he's gonna wear some cool boots, which I can do a look from because until then I'm gonna kind of take a break from that, but you never know. I mean, hey, I might surprise you guys. So then um, today I'm doing a new series, which is looks inspired by Harry's outfits. So I'm gonna be doing a bunch of, you know, his iconic outfits and there's a lot of them. So I'll probably be doing this for the rest of my life because Harry tends to wear, you know, amazing clothes with, you know, splashes of color and stuff, which I can do looks from. So, he's not like the simple t-shirt kind of guy. Although, when he does wear a t-shirt, he looks good. So, I mean, whatever. So, today, I'm doing a look inspired by his Drag Me Down music video jacket. And let me show you a picture. So, this is the jacket I'm doing. And I'm sorry, it keeps reflecting because I'm like sitting by the window because I'm not fancy. I don't have some fancy lighting. I'm sorry. And you can watch the video if you want, you know, more details on the jacket. Use Google, whatever else. Um, I will link the video below. It's a great video. You should watch it. Amazing. I love the song. I remember when they dropped it, like... I was sleeping and I woke up to a bunch of texts everyone was like, Sandy, they dropped a new song and it was literally like a week before I saw them so I was like at the third show they performed it at I think and oh my god it was amazing. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking about that because then I'll just keep going and going and so let's get started. Oh and please remember to subscribe because you guys don't want to miss any of the other looks I'm doing. I mean, they're going to be pretty cool. I just ordered a new palette, so it's going to have a bunch of different colors. And so I'll really be able to, you know, take things to the next level. So, okay, so remember to subscribe, please, and thank you. And feel free to, like, tweet these to Harry or Anne or Gemma or Lou or anyone. That would be great. Okay, so let's carry on. The first thing I'm going to do is prime the eyes. You could use a primer, you can use a shadow, like a nude shadow stick, you can use a concealer, whatever you want. I'm going to be using a nude shadow stick, which is the Palladio Shadow and Liner. If you watch my videos, you know I'm a big fan of this. It's great. It keeps the shadow going all day. So just put that all over your lid as a base. Next, I'm going to be taking a blue eyeliner, which I'm going to kind of use as a shadow slash eyeliner. Um, it's going to be the Revlon Color Stay in Sapphire. It's a blue liner because his jacket has a whole lot of blue in it. It's a beautiful color. You can either get the Revlon or, you know, whichever company makes it. Um, Revlon's eyeliners tend to stay all, literally all day long, hence Color Stay. So I just tend to use them. I love, like, the black and everything. So I am going to take this. And you know how when you put a crease, um, eyeshadow in your crease, you're going to kind of put this in your crease. So start from the corner of your eye, make a faint line, like so, okay, and then go right into your crease, like that. So it looks like that. And make sure you do both the eyes at the same time, not just one eye, then go to the next because then you don't want it to be uneven or anything like that. So I'm just going to do the other eye. So like that. And then up next, um, on the back of all these Colorstay eyeliners, they have a... Uh, actually, they make these on the back of a lot of the eyeliners I've seen these days, but just in case, you know, if you don't have a little bulbous thing to like buff it out into um you could take like uh, a q-tip would work great so i've been i used to do that before they started making like these kind of things so then you just want to blend it a little bit just buff it out and you're going to take that into the rest of your crease because we only did it halfway so when you do it you're going to take it into the rest of the crease and if you feel like you need a little bit more product in the crease just add a little bit and then just you can either blend it or if you put it really lightly, you don't even have to blend it. So now you've got it just like that. It's just a little bit blended in and then kind of solid more towards this part. So this beautiful jacket also has green in it and I'm going to be applying some green eyeshadow and I'm going to be using the Little Mix by Collection Trio Palette. It's Jade's palette. Woo! And I'm going to be using this green color right here. So again, if you don't have this because it's from London, um, it, the green looks just like this. 
And I'm going to be taking a pretty flat and precise brush is what I can call it. I got this from like a, you know, one of those holiday collections at Walmart and Target and stuff where you can get like for 10 bucks, you can get a bunch of things. So I got it from that because it's got like such soft like bristles and everything. So it's like this, just like a flat brush and pop a little bit of the green on it. And then where the blue diffuses in the crease, apply it right into that. And then I'm going to blend that with a blending brush. And I'm just going to add just a little bit more of the blue eyeliner on the, just like the top of the eye. So the reason we added the blue eyeliner in the crease and then added shadow on top of it is because in this jacket, if you notice, the green and the blue kind of blend into each other. So if you use like a blue shadow or um, before it as opposed to like an eyeliner, that works too. But this is just really pigmented. And for me, I have like kind of tan eyelids. So any blue shadow I've used in the past, literally I've tried so many, has never really showed up like a bright sapphire blue but this does so obviously you can either do that so you could line um, your eye with the blue liner and then um, add some blue shadow and then green right into it so that works too so right now we've got this it looks like a beautiful like doesn't it remind you of like an a beautiful like island like the blue or whatever that's what it, this is giving me like a tropical feel right now up next, I'm going to be adding some green eyeliner, and I'm going to be using the NYX um, Tropical Green. See, this is totally like a tropical look. Okay, I did not know it was called Tropical Green. I usually just buy it, whichever color I like. So, it looks like this. It's a really beautiful tropical green color. And I'm going to be putting that um, on my bottom waterline. And then you're going to go back in with the blue liner and put it a little bit in this part of your waterline. That way it blends into the green. So in his jacket, he's got like silver and peachy tones on the sleeves. So in order to enforce that into the look, I'm going to be using the Essence 3D um, eyeshadow in 03. It's broken, but like it fell so it like shattered but it's this color right here and I'm gonna be taking that on just a little brush like this and putting that in the corners of my eye and blending that a little bit into the green and the blue so it looks like this and I'm just going to add a little bit more green in the crease because it kind of got blended out just a little bit. So we've got this so far. And I'm going to go in with that same inner corner peachy color and highlight my eyebrow. Up next, I'm going to be adding some mascara, Telescopic Carbon Black by L'Oreal. Again, my favorite mascara in like the entire world. And pop that on your top lashes. You can always use some blue mascara or green mascara. That would look really cool too. But um, I just think it looks more wearable with the black mascara. This you can totally, like if you're going to like a costume party or anything like that, or if you're going out clubbing or something, then obviously wear the blue mascara. That would work great. But I think with the black mascara, it's really what makes this look wearable as opposed to like costumey. And then on my bottom lashes, I'm going to be taking Clump Crusher by CoverGirl. Alright guys, there you have it. This is the finished look inspired by Harry's jacket in Drag Me Down. And let me give you guys a side-by-side -side comparison of my look and the jacket. So here is the jacket and here is my look. Again, it's reflecting, so if you want a better look of how this looks side-by-side -side with the jacket, um, if you wait until the end of the video, I always do like a side-by-side, -side, like a picture of it so you guys can get a better look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Remember to subscribe so you guys don't miss any of the other looks I'm doing. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.